So this is a distributor, an 83 to 88 Toyota Tercel four-wheel drive station wagon. Pretty common one. When I spin this thing, I can feel like there's something wrong with the bearing. Uh, I'm gonna salvage it for parts, but I thought I'd document how to take it apart. I've never taken one completely apart. So we'll see how it goes here. I know we have to pull this plug off the top. It's a little rubber plug and there's a screw underneath it. This is the ignition control device and this is the, this is the coil. And I guess you test the coil by putting an ohmmeter on these two terminals. Not really familiar with using an ohm thing, but I'll, uh, I'll do it and we'll find out what the numbers are. And we'll see if we can figure out how to test this thing. I'm assuming this one is good. This is their uh, vacuum advance. Yeah. It oiled it up a little bit. It was kind of stuck. So I removed that screw. First there was the little rubber plug and uh, that screw came out of there. Phillips head. I forgot to mention there was quite a bit of grease packed in there. So I cleaned it out with a small screwdriver before I took the screw out. According to the book or the factory service manual I'm supposed to remove these two screws, disconnect the wires, and then remove the four screws to hold the coil in place. That's what we're going to do next. Okay, remove the, the nuts. This one has a blue wire on the top, and then underneath is a yellow wire. And on this side, there's a red wire, or well, actually a brown wire on top and a red wire on the bottom. The uh, brown wire goes over to, to this unit, same place that the blue wire comes from here. Um, the yellow wire comes from the si uh, this control unit here. So yellow wire and blue wire go here. Uh, red wire from the control unit goes to here. And the brown wire from here. Move the cap from the igniter. Okay, see how the wires are going there. This is a uh, red wire on top, yellow wire down below. Okay, I just want to note that this is a red wire coming from this unit. And this one, it's the white wire coming from this unit. I'm going to have to take this off. I've got to get this out of here because I can't get this screw out back here. So I'm going to heat this up right in this area with the torch. And then uh, put my screwdriver in there and put, I'm going to mount this in the vise and I'm going to hammer the top of the screwdriver while I'm trying to twist it. But i got to heat this up. I don't want to melt this stuff. so. So to get this thing off, it looks like I have to remove these two screws. I already disconnected this black wire that comes from this. And the red and white wire from up here. So I got the unit off and these two screws, you can see the size of them that we're holding it on. And these two nuts were on the top terminals. 
Um, it says Toyota part number 89620-16080 and then down below 131300-0920 says Denzo made in Japan. And this is the igniter. These are the screw links that hold the coil in place. And I'm going to slide this rubber unit out of the way here. Now I can heat this up. Hopefully it'll expand the aluminum enough to let me pull out that screw. Well, I finally got it off. I heated up this area with the torch and then I squirted a little three in one oil along the seam here and it soaked down in there enough to uh, I could work the screw loose. I basically I had to put a lot of pressure on it and barely turn it back and forth quite a few times until it finally freed up. So well. That's what it looks like with the coil off. There's our coil. There's the numbers. I'm going to hear music by a much rarer thing. A daughter of a famous composer. Imogen Holst, daughter of the... Okay, we've got it set on ohms on RX100. She works in the music business. She helped Benjamin Britten run the Aldboro Festival. She taught music. Let's see if I can touch. Occasion, and every now and then... It moves to... Time, looks like 1.2. Here's part of the coil mass she wrote in 1927. Which is about where Claire every coil I have, I have about five of them, tests. But it's set at RX100. I really don't know what the RXs mean. But here I'm going to set it to uh, RX10. And it comes out a little higher, about 1.4. I set it to RX1. We're reading about 3.8. Three, probably. Not sure what all that means. There's a gasket right here. It looks like it's uh, it's fairly thick. It's over a 30 second thick. And it goes around and up here. Pieces of it are missing, so I'll have to replace that when I put it back together. Okay, the gap between these two things is supposed to be 0 0.008 to 0 0.016, which is 0 0.016 is like a 64th of an inch. I don't know if you can see that gap there, but it looks like it's not very even. Well, it looks like the next thing would be to pull this plate off if it'll come off. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, there's two two screws holding it in place. I'm gonna remove those and see if I can get it off. Those are the screws that held that plate on. They were really tight here. Over here, or here and here, and uh, I put this in the vise. This unit, just sitting down like this, and I put my screwdriver on the um, screw, and I was twisting very hard while hammering on the top of this, and I got them loose. Not really sure what to do next, but I. 
think you're supposed to remove this thing, which is called the timing wheel. This is the timing wheel shaft. And I'm gonna remove these two springs that are inside here. See if I can. Choir, polyphony, sending you that helps. Deep piece that was healing light, a Celtic prayer from the Peacemakers by Carl Jenkins. And that's cool. I got one spring off. I thought I'd better note. I marked this plate where this uh, spring has a different shaped end on it. Make sure I get it in the same spot. Okay, once the springs are out, looks like, there we go, it just came right off. You can see what's down in here, counterweights. I understand that in order to take it apart farther, I'm going to knock that pin out of there. are already pressed with the flow of refugees coming in from Turkey. The numbers have tripled over the past were people aged over 75. All right, I forgot to say something about this uh, tag right here. It's, uh, I guess it's the whole unit here is uh, one. Julie Nezarella hosts 6030150020. That's a six. Maybe it's 10030-15020. And down below that it says 029000-0130. This is 3AC. Uh, can't really tell what it says there. Like 11B, maybe. Anyway, there's a bearing, roller bearing in there, and it's bad. It's really rough. But in order to get that roller bearing out, you have to drill out this pin, which is quite a bit of messing around. You need to have to repin it to put it back in place. I'm not sure it's worth doing that. I think we. I'm going to drop some oil down there, let it soak into that bearing, see if it helps. Probably not. Okay, I tried dripping three-in-one oil from down and onto the bearing and rotating it, but the bearing was still rough. So I started dripping it down here and tipping it like this, and now it's spinning really nice. She feels good enough to reuse it. I'm not going to try taking it apart. But I am going to work some more oil down through there. Um, probably use some heavier oil than that three in one. Yeah, it feels really good. According to the manual, um, you're supposed to check the gap. 0 0.008 to 0 0.016 um, but they uh, say it's not adjustable so if, I guess if it's bad you're supposed to replace this but you probably can't get a part for it um, I'm not sure what to make of all that but I'll just check the gap see if it's okay they say you shouldn't use a metal feeler gauge you should use a brass one when you do that not sure the reason for that. I plan on cleaning up this part right here. Maybe with some very fine, super fine sandpaper. That's okay, you got RX1 comes out at 1.2. RX-10 comes out at 1.4 and RX-100 at 3.1 Whatever all that means, I don't know. Not really sure because the book says uh, the Canadian models would be in that range. That's what it says. 
The first one should be for non-Canadian models, 0.4 to 0.5. And then the Canadian models would be 1.2 to 1.5. That doesn't match anything I'm getting, so I'm not sure what to make of all that. <laughs> 